football, baseball, soccer, and even a record-breaking card. We've got it all in today's Top 5 Cards. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me and my team as we help you profit from the hobby we all love. Hello, sports card investors, and welcome to another Top 5 Tuesday. I am back. I was at the Denver Card Show and the Burbank Card Show over the weekend. Had a ton of fun, talked to a ton of people, but I'm glad to be back in the studio just in time for football season to get started. We've got some cards going up today to tell you about, ladies and gentlemen. But first, let me give a shout out to Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome place to buy and sell sports cards and participate in live breaks 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Things are happening on Whatnot starting at just a dollar. And here's the best part. You can get $10 for free. Check out Whatnot with $10 free credit by using the QR code on your screen or signing up using this special link below. All right, guys, let's take a look at the overall sports card market. It remains fairly flat despite a huge record-breaking sale that we're going to talk about. Certainly not all parts of the sports card market are flat. Some have done really, really well. Others, not so much. The overall market's actually being held back by ultra-modern baseball. Baseball cards from the last couple of years, they have been beat up over the last 30 days, and they are holding the overall market down. But not every ultra-modern baseball card is down. In fact, you're going to see one of them in the top five here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and get started and tell you what those hottest cards are. It's time for today's top five. We would be remiss if we did not start our top five cards today with Mickey Mantle and the record-breaking sale of the 1952 Topps SGC 9.5. It happened over the weekend at Heritage Auctions. It sold for $12.6 million, not only setting the new record for the most expensive sports card ever sold or any sports item ever sold, but also the first sports card to ever break the $10 million barrier, the eight-figure barrier. It is the 52 Mantle SGC 9.5 that has done it. And as you might suspect, a lot of interest in Mantle is helping all of his card prices overall. It's having a bit of a halo effect. Over the last 60 days, we're looking here in Market Movers at a lot of Mickey Mantle's different cards. We actually track tons of different Mickey Mantle cards in Market Movers. And you can look at the price change of what some of these have done over the last 60 days. Everything from his 54 Bowman to 65 Tops in different conditions, 55 Bowman, 57 Tops, uh, you know, 53 Bowman, 64 Tops. Now, Overall, his cards are up just a few percentage points, so not all of them have gone up like this over the course of the last 60 days. But in general, his cards have been doing well, and we've seen a large increase in sales volume, a lot more transactions of Mickey Mantle cards over the last couple of months comparing to the months prior, as you might expect. Because the news of a major auction like this one that just went off over the weekend tends to have a halo effect to help interest in the player overall. We're seeing that with Mickey Mantle cards. Before we get into our regular top five list, let's start with a cold card. And that card is Carson Wentz. Yes, while many football cards are heating up going into the season, Wentz's are doing the opposite. Football card investors are not optimistic about the outlook of Wentz and the Washington Commanders this season. And you know, at the start of last season, there was a lot of hype and excitement over Carson Wentz as he went to Indianapolis. But then Indianapolis started the season one and four, and Wentz's card prices absolutely tanked the first few weeks of the season last year. People are worried that might happen again, despite the fact that he actually threw for over 3,500 yards last season, 27 touchdowns to only seven interceptions but it doesn't seem like very many people are optimistic about the Washington Commanders or Carson Wentz. And here in Market Movers, I'm looking at the last year. So we're going back to September 1st of last year, right before last season started. And look over here on the left of the graph. You can see what I'm talking about with how his cards absolutely tanked that first month of the football season last year. And then look guys, 
over the last year, they've just continued to follow the same pattern. They've just dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped some more. The news of him going to Washington did not really help his car prices. And even in this last couple of weeks, as we've gotten into the season, over here on the right of the graph, they're dipping even more. And of course, what we're looking at here is a few of his rookie cards, his 2016 Optic Base, his 2016 Optic Hollow, and his 2016 Prism Silver. That one's down the most, all in PSA 10. That Prism Silver, by the way, guys, it's down almost 80% since the start of last football season. Currently selling for $82. There were sales of that as high as $495 right before last season started. Man, it's been a rough ride for Carson Wentz. But now let's talk about some cards going up and let's go with a legend. Albert Pujols has been doing awesome this season, better than many expected, myself included. When he went to the Cardinals this year, I thought this was just his swan song. He was gonna fade out into the sunset and really not do much for them on the field this year. After all, this guy's 42 years old, but he's actually having a pretty decent year. He's batting 273 and he has 14 home runs. And what's really important with that is that puts him at 693 runs. 700 home runs is in sight. Now, can he actually get there before the season ends? I'm not so sure if he'll make it or not, but there are some baseball card investors who are optimistic and even getting to 693 and being in the discussion of getting to 700 has put his cards on the map and has caused them to heat up. And here on the screen, we're looking at two of his rookie cards, his 2001 Topps Chrome traded base card in PSA 10 and his 2001 Upper Deck base card in, in PSA 10. That Upper Deck's up the most from the percentage standpoint. That one's up 64% over the last 90 days, most recently selling for $575. You could have picked that card up for as little as $311 about 90 days ago. And that Topps Chrome traded card in PSA 10, that's the more expensive card. That one most recently sold for $2,800. That's up about 16% over the course of the last night. Let's go with football for the number four spot and let's go with Tyreek Hill, the lightning fast receiver now, of course, with the Miami Dolphins. Hill famously had the connection with Patrick Mahomes out in Kansas City and was his number one target. So some might be a little surprised that he's on our hot list now that he's gone to Miami and seemingly maybe a downgrade at quarterback with Tua there at the helm throwing the ball to him. But surely he is going to be featured big time in that Miami offense. And they do have another good promising young receiver and Jalen Waddle there as well. So they could be a dynamic duo. As we're getting close here to the start of the season, there are football card investors who think Tyreek is gonna put up some pretty serious numbers this year. And as a result, his card prices, they're putting up some pretty serious numbers as well. Here's four of his rookie cards on the screen, his 2016 Optic Base PSA 10, 2016 Optic Hollow PSA 10, 2016 Prism Silver PSA 10, and 2016 Select Concourse Silver PSA 10. You can tell what they're all doing, guys. They're all going up and to the right. And if we look by price change by percentage, you can see that it is that Prism Silver that's up the most, that is up 70% over the course of the last 30 days, most recently selling for $200 and it had sold for $118 30 days ago. All the cards are up. His optic base is up 14%. His optic hollow is up 12% and his select concourse silver is up 4%. Will these prices sustain? It all depends how he performs this season. Of course, all of the cards we're featuring today, these are not our picks as to what will go up next. We're simply telling you what has been hot over the last few months. It's up to you to decide whose cards will go up the most in the months ahead. Let's go with soccer for the number three spot and a player who is on a goal tear right now. Erling Holland has come out strikingly hot for Manchester City. You know that he was formerly with Dortmund. He transferred to Man City and he has come out with a bang, currently leading the English Premier League with six goals, and over the weekend he had a hat trick. Sometimes it just takes a single performance like that to cause a player's cards to really heat up, and that is the case with Holland. Let's take a look here at a few of his rookie cards, his 2019 Topps Chrome 
Topps Chrome Bundesliga base card in PSA 10, his 2019 Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League base card in PSA 10, and then that Champions League card in Sapphire. Uh, the Sapphire edition of that card in PSA 10. You can see over the last 30 days on the graph, all three of these are up. And if you look to the right, look over the last few days on the right, and you can see how they have especially spiked since he hit that hat trick over the weekend. Overall, that uh, UEFA Champions League base PSA 10 is up 7%. The Sapphire is up 22.5%, almost 23%. And the Bundesliga base is up 22%. That card, most recently selling for $585, you could have picked that card up for $479 just a few weeks ago. Back to baseball for the number two spot and one of the hottest young players this season, he's been on the list before, Julio Rodriguez, but he continues to make noise to make his way back on the list again. This time, that noise comes in the form of a giant, giant contract. Rodriguez just signed a deal with Seattle despite being a rookie. He signed a deal that could be worth up to $470 million over 17 years if he wins two MVP awards during his career. The base deal is 12 years, $209 million. Not a bad deal for a rookie. Currently this year, he's batting 264 with 21 home runs. And card investors, baseball card investors, have been super excited about his cards all season long. He's already been on the top five list. He's back again. And look at what his cards continue to do. We're looking over the last 90 days. We're looking at his 2019 Bowman Chrome prospects. In fact, you know what? Let me switch to price change by percentage so you can see the whole story of what these cards have done by a percentage standpoint over the last 90 days. And there you can actually see that it's his 2019 Bowman Chrome prospects base card in PSA 10 that's up the most from a percentage standpoint along with the Mega Box Mojo uh, refractor from that same 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospect set. Also his 2019 Bowman Paper Prospects card that's up almost that same amount as well and his 2019 Bowman Chrome Prospects Auto card in PSA 10 that one too is doing well. All of these cards the Mega Box Mojo refractor the Chrome Prospects and the Paper Prospects PSA 10, they're all up somewhere between 67 and 72% over the last 90 days. It has been an awesome run for Julio Rodriguez cards. Can he continue to remain this hot? I hope so. He's one of the bright young stars in baseball. I hope that Julio Rodriguez has a bright career ahead. It's time for the number one card. But before I give it to you, let me remind you that all of the charts and graphs in today's episode are from Market Movers, and you can now get instant access to Market Movers for just $9.99 per month. It is our new pricing plan. It gets you in to chart more than 800,000 sports cards, as well as tens of thousands of non-sports cards and trading card games in Market Movers. Get instant access, go to sportscardinvestor.com and click on Market Movers in the main menu bar. Sometimes when we feature players on the top five, their cards cool off after the peak, but that's not the case with this guy. Paul Goldschmidt, his cards are only going up further as he continues to have an amazing season for the St. Louis Cardinals. Paul Goldschmidt, Goldie, was in our top five about 30 days ago, but his cards have only continued to go up since then. He's having an MVP level season. He's also in the running for the National League Triple Crown. He's currently first in batting average, second in home runs, and he's tied for first in RBIs. What a season he's having, and some baseball card collectors and investors have absolutely taken notice. We're looking here over the last 30 days, and his cards, as they have done all season long, have continued to push up over the last 30 days. This is his 2011 Bowman Chrome Prospects uh, in PSA 10, his 2011 Topps Update Rookie Card in PSA 10, and his 2011 Topps Update Diamond Anniversary Card in PSA 10. By the way, the real winner here might be people holding 2011 sealed wax, Topps Update sealed wax. Of course, that product famously has Mike Trout in it, but it also has Paul Goldschmidt and actually a lot of other really good rookies as well. That is one heck of a box to own. 
Goldschmidt leading the way at the moment. And you can see all of these cards are going up. That diamond anniversary in PSA 10 is up 30% or 29% over the last 30 days. His 2011 Topps Update base card in PSA 10 is up 63% over the last night, last 30 days. And his 2011 Bowman Chrome Prospects PSA 10 is up 90% over the last 30 days. That most recently sold for $195. You could have scooped that up for $102 just 30 days ago. What a run this season for Goldie. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the top five today. If you did, please give it a like. Please hit that subscribe button and go check out Market Movers. Just $9.99 a month right now and a seven-day free trial. So there's no reason not to go check it out. Just go to sportscardinvestor.com and click on Market Movers in the main menu bar. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon with our next one. Take care.